everyone, Old Man Mordate here, and welcome to another quick and dirty Stellaris video. In this video, we're going to be talking about evasion and two hit modifiers. This is a follow up video from a previous video we've done on a similar subject of accuracy, tracking, uh, and evasion. Uh, so I stream five days a week, and I'm happy to answer any Stellaris questions uh, when I'm live on Twitch. So you find a link in the description down below. Feel free to drop me a follow and like this video and all that jazz. So we never covered the difference between a bonus percentage to evasion and a non-percentage bonus increase to evade. So what I mean, we're going to go over to the ship designer. I'll show you what I mean uh, when we go over to the destroyers here. So you can see our evasion, our thrusters give a plus 16 chance to evade, whereas our sapient combat computer is giving us a plus 10% to evasion. So what's the difference? So if we cursor over evasion, we're going to see that broken down. And it's going to see, you're going to see the destroyers have a base of 35 evasion, and we added that thruster value to it. And then you can see what's giving us our percentage values. We're going to get an extra 10% from combat computers, an extra 10% from advanced afterburners, and 2% extra from uh, excess energy. So what happens is you add the thrusters and the destroyers, those those raw numbers together, the, not the percentages, that raw number together, and that's your base evasion. And then individually, you're going to add in that uh, the 10 percent bonus and the other 10 percent bonus and then the excess power bonus, the 2 percent bonus. And you're going to find that uh, uh, those numbers will come up to give you 62.2% in this particular case. So if you run down the math, I think it uh, comes up to like 51, I think, for thrusters and destroyers. So that means 5.1 from combat computers, another 5.1 from advanced afterburners, and like 1.02 or something like that from excess power. And you add it all together and you're gonna get that 62%. And so that's that's the evasion thing. That's the difference between uh, those two numbers. But another thing you're gonna see is, uh, you're gonna, don't confuse it with uh, things like plus 30 tracking uh, or, uh, geez, uh, what's another good example? Plus 30 tracking or you're gonna see uh, uh, just a, a plus 20 chance to hit. From what I can tell, those numbers just get added on to the uh, base tracking number or the base uh, chance to hit. Now, chance to hit is calculated at the very end. Like you, when you're figuring out the math problem, whether a, a ship is going to hit or not, that is the chance to hit. So in general, if if how I've added up is all correct, I suspect that chance to hit is always preferable to the tracking bonus, except for like niche situations that would really be like, like it would really be situational. Uh, or until you max out your chance to hit it, I think it maxes out at 100. I don't think it can go higher than that. I don't, I don't think there's any carryover. Uh, and then you want to go with tracking. I suspect that if you guys know better, feel free to leave a message down in the comments below, but I think that math checks out. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. Stay safe out there and uh, we'll see you next time.